Now you have decided that, hey, releasing a product to the, your users is not enough. Just putting it out there without understanding how users are going to work with it or react to it and just sit down and relax and wait for feedback to come. This is potentially not the best way of doing things because probably if people ignore your feature, you probably are not going to get any feedback. And sometimes no feedback can be easily interpreted as good feedback, but that's not always the case. No feedback might be no usage, no caring, no nothing. <laughs> so you are a very analytical person and you want to go ahead and describe a success of success metrics for your feature. How do I make sure that I'm actually delivering value to my users? So what you would do in this case as a product manager is to decide what are the key success metrics for me to track if this feature is a successful or it brings value to our customers. So first of all, I might have some kind of NPS on the feature. Give me feedback on this feature. How do you perceive it? How do you rate it from zero to 10? And are you happy with the value that is giving you as a user? This could be one way, but also there's different ways and different metrics that you can implement on your product, on your software, if it's a software, or if it's something that you can track in some way or another. You are able to define what are the key success metrics for you to make sure that people are actually using this feature. So one of the very basic ones is to look at returning customers. Are people actually returning to come and use this feature several times or many times per day, per month, however you do the metric. And this, this is going to be very dependent on the industry you are. The different metrics are going to be all over the place in some cases. Once a month is completely fine. In some times it has to be 10 times per day. So you have to understand the typical behavior of a user and understand what the success metric in that case for you would mean. But the idea is that don't define too many success metrics. Try to keep it small. Try to keep like three, four, five success metrics that will help you to understand how people are adopting this feature and how people are finding this feature valuable for them. Now, we are ready to go to the summary.